Now, the Michika local government area at Amara State has held a one-day stakeholders meeting on its 2024 budget proposal. The meeting organized by the Adamawa State Planning Commission and Nigerian and German government aimed to rebuild the area after an insurgent attack. The meeting, supported by Oxfam, Cruden and Sipad, uh, aimed to ensure transparency and people-oriented programs. Oxfam representative Enoch Bamayi uh, emphasized the importance of community harmony and stakeholder participation in development. The executive governor of Adamawa State has given us all the Tutuwa local government chairman to be transparent, to involve people, to include people, to cover the places that are not covered and reach people that are not reached. So when this program that came through the uh, Ministry of uh, Planning and Budget with the uh, supporting partners, GIZ, Oxfam, and Crusade. There was this policy document that was created and signed by the executive governor that is uh, uh, policy planning and participation, citizens' participation. This document I've taken some time to go through, and the one mission is to ensure that citizens are fully participate in their development of their communities. The essence of budget town hall meeting, one, is to provide opportunity for citizens to be able to participate in governance process, as well as also provide feedback with regards to the budget, budgetary provisions made for their development. What is unique with this activity is the fact that uh, a lot of the community development priorities of Michika local government people, which is captured in their uh, local government community development plan are part of what were considered in the development and the design of this year's budget. So this activity is very unique because by this activity now citizens are able to know that their voices can be heard and this is very very uh, important in promoting good governance and, and ensuring bottom up approach to governance. The executive director of ARPA has implemented an empowerment program to support Boko Haram victims in the northern part of Adama State. District Ed Basa Sayyid Lawan hopes the program will positively impact people's lives and is collaborating with the development partner. You know, the government is a little far away. Because of our involvement, our enlightenment, our education, these people were able to assemble some money and fix the ball. We drank from the ball. And uh, it's impactful. I see it. If fully implemented, it's very, very commendable. It's very, very commendable. It is the first thing in history Michigan has ever got such a development. And it's a, it's a credit to the chairman, Michigan local government. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.